update 1.8 brings along with it four new exotic weapons. One new light machine gun, two new marksman rifles and one new submachine gun. In this video we're taking a look at the last one, the house. We'll take a look at all the statistics from the damage to the handling and recommend the best modifications for the weapon. The house is modeled after the MPX and resembles the MP5 in a lot of ways. One of those ways is that it holds a 30 round magazine which can of course be increased with the extended magazines mod. Once you run out of bullets you're able to reload it in just under 2.5 seconds which is faster than any assault rifle, light machine gun, marksman rifle and even shotguns. Since it categorizes as a submachine gun, it is equipped with a critical hit chance bonus, which can range between 18 to 24 percent. Seen as the house is an exotic weapon, it gets one unique weapon talent. It's called Card Counter. Half of the magazine will deal 25 percent increased weapon damage, but there's a catch. Every 10 seconds or when its magazine is empty, the half that gives the increased damage will switch. This is a good talent, but it's completely random, meaning it's hard to combine with any build. The weapon deals around 18,000 damage per bullet, after which the damage will decline. Both the damage and the range are average for the submachine gun class. It's neither the highest nor the lowest, but it's right there in the middle. Shooting your opponent in the head is never a bad idea, though submachine guns benefit the least out of all the weapons with only a 50% increase in damage. The rate of fire however is excellent with it firing 850 rounds per minute which is faster than the MP5. This means that you want to be up close and personal otherwise your target will laugh his ass off at your accuracy. The accuracy is pretty average as well for this weapon. We tested the accuracy and stability or spread and recoil whatever you want to call it. The result you see on screen is the result of 5 magazine worth of rear coil. As you see it's mostly vertical with pretty low horizontal kick. Close range shouldn't be a problem at all, though you don't want to go much further than the optimal range. The vertical kick is 3 times as high and the horizontal kick is twice as wide as opposed to close range. Keep in mind that when testing we didn't counter recoil, meaning in a firefight your spread and recoil will be better than what you see on screen now. Moving on to the weapon mods, the weapon allows 4 mod slots. Besides the magazine mod slot, all of them are small mod slots similar to the other submachine guns. Since submachine guns have a high critical hit chance built in and a low headshot damage, it's only natural to focus on the critical hit chance and hit damage when selecting any mods. For the optic you want to select the pro red dot sight. It naturally comes with critical hit damage and besides that you want to roll it with critical hit chance and headshot damage. Without any doubt the extended magazine is what you want for the magazine slot. Next to the increased magazine capacity, critical hit chance and rate of fire are recommended. For the under barrel you are wise to equip the small grip since it always comes with critical hit damage. Next to this, reload speed and either accuracy or stability are recommended. And finally, on the muzzle you want a loud vent break, since this is the only one that gives you critical hit damage for small mods. Besides this, we recommend critical hit chance and headshot damage for the secondary bonuses. The reason we mainly went for crit damage instead of crit chance is that you're able to get a lot of crit chance from your gear and weapon tent. You always can go for more critical hit chance on your mods, but this is the way we recommend it. If you want a more detailed explanation of why you want these mods on your submachine gun, check out Marco Style's SMG weapon modding guide. He explains it very well. To conclude, we can say that the house is another mid-tier submachine gun. The decent handling combined with the medium damage and high fire rate make it an excellent weapon for ranges up to 25 meters or so, maybe a little bit more. And even though the exotic talent is a nice talent, the randomness doesn't make it harder to implement it in a build. The weapon mods remain similar as for any SMG. Anyways, we want to thank you for watching. We would appreciate it if you could leave a rating. Good or bad doesn't matter. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Simple as that. In either case, leave us some constructive feedback on the video, art style, commentary and content. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. 
Also, if you have any questions, if you want to share your ideas or if you want to start a discussion, you can let us know in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Hopefully, we'll see you in another video. Once again, thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye bye. Come